What do you get when you strap a nuclear reactor to an AI brain? A machine that doesn't just break rules, it shatters them. These bots work where humans can't or won't. Radiation zones, deep space, the core of your next Netflix binge. They're here, and they're hungry for power. Tech giants are gambling billions on this radioactive marriage. Clean energy? Maybe. Unstoppable machines? Absolutely. So ask yourself, are we building a brighter future or engineering our own obsolescence? In today's ever-changing world, AI robots continue to impress with their amazing capabilities in the nuclear space. They perform tasks way too dangerous for the average human, and their superhuman abilities allow them to monitor radiation, inspect equipment, and even assist in managing nuclear waste. And that's all while reducing human exposure to hazardous conditions. A key AI nuclear robot to start with is the Meister robot. Indigenous to Japan, this bot thrives in environments full of radiation, similar to those at Fukushima. Developed by the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, this service robot is made to inspect and decontaminate nuclear plants. The MHI Meister refers to a combination of robots previously developed by MHI to manage nuclear accidents, and development of these androids began due to an incident in 1999. The Meister, seen as German for master, merges cutting-edge sensor technology, dangerously precise actuators, and extraordinary intuitive control systems while interacting seamlessly with human users. Additionally, the Meister has anti-contamination measures and endures high radiation environments with no trouble at all. Equipped with two arms that are strangely similar to human arms, it wields seven axes for movement. Each of these tools allow it to remove obstacles and collect samples in areas where people can't go, while a human user controls the robot's actions remotely from a safe location. On a single charge, the robot has an expected working time of two hours, making work at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power stations easier for the workers. Comparable but not identical to the Meister is the PackBot robot. Hailing from the United States, the PackBot is a mobile robot used for reconnaissance, search, and other dangerous missions too risky for people to perform. It works through all weather conditions, drives through mud, and even climbs stairs. Basically, the PackBot is an unmanned ground vehicle developed by iRobot for military and emergency activities. It is especially invaluable at nuclear disaster sites. Now, you might think that its weirdly cool features end here, but that's not all. The robot is used by many to figure out structural damage and spot radiation levels. Its modular design allows it to quickly adapt to new tasks with different tools and attachments, giving it the ability to navigate environments usually too dangerous for human responders. Furthermore, it's built to be tough enough to work in hazardous environments such as hotspots and disaster zones. Equipped with a range of sensors, including high-definition cameras, PackBot navigates through challenging areas and provides crazy detailed visual feedback in low-light or cluttered conditions. Moving on to a different sphere, the United Kingdom is focusing on developing the next generation of nuclear robotics through initiatives like the National Center for Nuclear Robotics NCNR. The NCNR program is developing smart robotic systems to dismantle and clean up old nuclear sites safely and securely. They're combining AI with machine vision so that robots see their surroundings using cameras and sensors. This technology allows the robots to sense areas with high radiation and dangerous materials and then plan safe ways to remove or decontaminate them. Amazingly, the team is still improving how these robots move through tight spaces, uneven floors, and other challenging environments common in nuclear facilities to make them even better. By making these robots more capable and reliable, NCNR aims to speed up decommissioning tasks, lower costs, 
and protect workers from harmful exposure. Besides making waves in nuclear environments, there are other robots built to take us to outer space. I'm pretty sure the first thing that pops up in your mind is probably something from the Star Wars franchise. However, it goes much deeper than that. Humanity continues to test the barriers of space travel, but continuously faces the challenge of providing reliable, long-lasting energy for missions far from Earth. Solar energy can and continues to power many missions within our solar system, but they can only do so much. Their effectiveness unfortunately wanes drastically as they move away from the sun and sunlight gets too weak or inconsistent to generate sufficient power. Solar panels also become unproductive in deep space, and on planets or bodies with thick atmospheres or ice-covered surfaces. For example, on Mars, global dust storms are capable of covering solar panels for weeks, severely compromising power generation for critical systems. Besides, the outer planets and their moons receive such minimal sunlight that solar power is basically useless, motivating researchers to find other sources of energy. Now you might be thinking, what can we use to power our space robots? That's where nuclear power steps in. Nuclear power offers a steady and well-rounded energy source to fuel autonomous AI robots designed to explore the extraterrestrial. Deploying nuclear-powered autonomous robots represents a technological frontier that completely changes how humans approach space exploration and maybe even colonization. It's quite mind-boggling that these complex machines, drawing continuous energy from compact nuclear sources, will soon venture where humans cannot. This leaves us possibly preparing for our arrival at distant worlds, as well as the hope of someday unlocking scientific discoveries beyond our wildest imaginations. Compared to solar technology, nuclear power does not depend on sunlight. Thus, it provides a continuous, long-lasting source of energy that powers robots and instruments regardless of external conditions. And this reliability is essential for autonomous AI robots made to explore extreme and remote environments. NASA has been and still is the leading organization concerned with integrating nuclear power with advanced robotics to support space exploration. The organization also continues to stun with their innovative tech concerned with air and space exploration. For instance, two pioneering projects in their field are Spindle and the Kilo Power Reactor. The former, Spindle, Subglacial Polar Ice Navigation, Descent, and Lake Exploration, is basically an insanely groundbreaking project by NASA that explores hidden oceans beyond the freezing surfaces of moons like Europa. As one of Jupiter's moons, Europa is a far-flung icy shell said to hide a vast subsurface ocean that could potentially harbor life. Thus, to combat its chilling temperatures that get as low as negative 370 degrees Fahrenheit, the team at NASA designed Spindle to drill through the thick ice covering extraterrestrial oceans. With a nuclear power source, Spindle uses a compact fission reactor to stay functional. This reactor gives it the energy it needs to not only melt through the ice, but also to operate the onboard sensors and navigation systems. Through nuclear power, Spindle works continuously in environments where sunlight is practically non-existent and ensures a steady supply of energy during long-duration missions. It includes a robotic ice-penetrating carrier vehicle, Cryobot, and an autonomous underwater vehicle, HAUV, allowing reconnaissance, life search on planets, and sample collection. Moving on, the Kilo Power Reactor is a small, lightweight nuclear reactor developed by NASA to provide continuous power for missions on Mars. Unlike solar panels, which falter during Martian dust storms or in the planet's dimmer light, the Kilo Power Reactor guarantees reliable energy. Take a moment to imagine a device that can power space robots and human space travel. Kilo Power is sort of like that. With its reactor, it feels straight out of a science fiction movie and has potential to power not only robotic explorers, but also future human missions. It supports the operations of AI-driven colonies, automated mining operations, and other very critical infrastructure on the planet Mars. Being able to provide constant power, the Kilo Power Reactor lays the groundwork for long-term colonization efforts. Therefore, it ensures that habitats, scientific equipment, 
as well as support systems stay active even during prolonged periods of harsh weather or darkness. Also looking towards the future, the fusion of nuclear power with advanced AI promises to lead to even more revolutionary applications in space exploration. Imagine space stations that operate autonomously with the help of nuclear power. Incredible, right? These stations would orbit Mars or other celestial bodies and at the same time serve as hubs for scientific research, logistics, and even repair missions. Equipped with AI systems, they'd effectively manage resources, adjust their operations in real time, and maintain continuous communication with Earth all powered by a reliable nuclear energy source. Do you think nuclear-powered AI can help us colonize Mars? It's very likely. The success of projects like Spindle and the Kilopower reactor already point towards a future where nuclear-powered AI systems are key in establishing human colonies on Mars. Such systems enable automated mining operations, construct habitats, and manage life support systems. Thus, when providing a stable and continuous energy supply, these robots and reactors essentially overcome the challenges posed by Mars's harsh environment. Fortunately, they also potentially pave way for a sustainable human presence on the Red Planet. As a result, through the combination of advanced AI with nuclear technology, humans can explore distant worlds while also laying the foundation for future human settlements in space. Beyond AI robotics in nuclear environments or off on extraterrestrial exploration, artificial intelligence continues to shape and reshape the most mundane industries. They're constantly driving innovation in the fields of healthcare, manufacturing, and entertainment. However, the enormous electricity demands of AI systems and data centers pose a critical challenge. Traditional energy sources, including solar and wind, often disappoint and fall short because of reliability issues. In contrast, nuclear energy offers a clean, continuous, and long-term solution steadily making it a wonderfully attractive option for powering AI infrastructure. Thus, nuclear energy emerges as a major enabler to power AI infrastructure due to it providing the reliable, clean, and continuous energy that data centers and advanced AI systems need. As AI applications expand and continuously demand ever-increasing amounts of electricity, traditional power sources especially intermittent renewables, struggle to meet the load. Nuclear power becomes a better alternative each day. After all, AI applications and large-scale data centers use lots of power round the clock. Hence, their constant high demands for electricity are hard to satisfy with renewable sources of energy alone. Thus, nuclear energy is becoming essential for AI due to massive energy consumption. Data centers that run AI algorithms seriously require an uninterrupted supply of electricity to keep working at peak performance, process vast data sets, and ensure system reliability. Also, it offers clean and long-term solutions. Companies continue to switch to sources of power that offer low carbon emissions. Nuclear reactors produce very little greenhouse gases, which are much cleaner alternatives to fossil fuels. Moreover, nuclear energy is reliable. Unlike solar or wind, nuclear power isn't dependent on weather patterns. This reliability is critical for AI infrastructure which needs to work continuously without interruption. Considering the numerous evident benefits of nuclear power, multiple leading tech companies are investing in nuclear energy solutions to support their AI operations. One of which is Google, which announced a collaboration with Kairos Power in October 2024 regarding their investment in Small Modular Reactors (SMRs). The idea behind this partnership being that together they can supply steady, clean energy directly to AI data centers. SMRs are more scalable and are deployable in various locations, which give the consistent power that's needed for data-intensive operations. Their modular nature and enhanced safety features also make them an attractive option for tech companies looking to future-proof their energy supply. 
But Google isn't alone in their move toward nuclear energy. Amazon Web Services AWS, committed over $500 million to development of SMRs in 2024 and are moving forward with plans to build three nuclear-powered data centers. By harnessing nuclear energy, AWS ensures that its massive computing operations critical for cloud services and AI applications, receive uninterrupted power even during high demand periods. This incredibly strategic move not only secures a reliable energy source, but also aligns with bigger goals of making carbon emissions less and enhancing operational efficiency. Of course, that's not all. Microsoft as well is exploring the use of AI to streamline and speed up the nuclear plant approval process through integrating AI systems into regulatory and permitting workflows, Microsoft can reduce bureaucratic delays and bring nuclear-powered energy solutions to market faster than before. As an innovative approach, it has the potential to fast-track deploying new nuclear facilities and ultimately support the growing energy needs of AI infrastructures. The convergence of nuclear energy and AI infrastructure sets the stage for transformative changes in global energy systems in various fields, which poses the question, could AI-run nuclear plants be the future of global energy? If we look ahead, there's the exciting possibility of developing AI-controlled nuclear power plants. Operating autonomously, such plants would optimize energy production in real time, manage maintenance, and even predict and mitigate potential issues before they come up. Amazing, right? Fully automated nuclear facilities would offer unmatched efficiency and safety and reshape how we generate and distribute energy across the globe. As AI becomes more sophisticated, it's possible that we move towards fully automated nuclear-powered AI infrastructure. We can see entire energy grids managed by AI systems, which ensure optimal performance and resilience, leading to a future where not only data centers and industrial operations are powered by nuclear energy, but the plants themselves are operated by intelligent systems. Such integration creates a self-sustaining, highly efficient energy ecosystem capable of meeting the exponential growth in power demands driven by digital transformation and advanced computing, should it come to pass. What's your take on the future of AI and nuclear power? It definitely won't be identical to the Matrix, but our future could contain things that only exist in our imagination. Leave your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates like these.